Uh, greetings, everyone. I see some folks uh, uh, coming into the session. Welcome. Uh, for this interactive session, just so you know, uh, participants will need access to a notebook or paper and pen to write with, uh, as well as some space to dance. So while we wait for everybody to get settled in, make sure you um, set up your, your surroundings to participate in the session, and then we'll get started. Thank you and uh, welcome. Hello everyone, come on in, come on in. Woohoo! Yeah, hello everyone from all over. Yes, Nevada, California, Denver. Wow, this is awesome. Arizona. Woohoo! Ontario, hello everyone. I'm in beautiful Southern California in Long Beach. It's nice and warm outside, but I would not know because I'm inside all day long. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Look at me like a music intro. Yeah. Hello, hello. We'll get started in just a minute or two. Waiting for everybody to come in. Hello from Hawaii, ooh, from Georgia, from New Mexico. Everyone's all over, I love this. Technology is amazing, isn't it? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Alaska, what? This is awesome. Arizona. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. I'll entertain you while you come in. Hello, hello. Hello, everyone. Sacramento, San Francisco, North Dakota, New York. Wow, from Guam, wow. This is amazing. I feel so honored. It's Vegas. Hello, hello everyone. Fernando, do you want to let me know when you want me to start or? Yeah, yeah. let's um, to be mindful of our time. It seems like the majority of folks are in the session. Uh, okay. So let's go ahead and get, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, welcome again. Thanks for taking the time to join us for uh, this afternoon's session. Uh, my name is Fernando and I come with the Region 9 Head Start Association and I'm happy to be your webinar host today. Uh, so if you have any questions for me uh, in regards to any technology uh, or any connection issues, uh, send me a chat message on Zoom and I'm happy to uh, troubleshoot any issues that you may have uh, behind the scenes if, I, if I'm able to. Uh, please note that due to the current situation with COVID-19, our uh, webinar Zoom platform is, is uh, experiencing a lot of traffic. So if you see any lag, if you experience any connection issues, uh, we apologize in advance. Uh, however, with that said, this webinar session is being recorded uh, and will be made available for on-demand consumption roughly within 24 hours and we will have it up on our YouTube channel um, and I will go ahead and share that link on the chat throughout the session so you can secure it and you can go back and, and rewatch it. Um, also resources tied to this session, uh, including the, uh, re the recording as well as the certificate of participation will also be uh, up on our website. Um, we encourage your participation, so if you have any questions or comments for Jen, make sure you uh, send them via the Q&A and we will do our very best to address them live. And now uh, it is my pleasure to introduce our topic, Move Into Wellness, and our speaker today will be Jen Stillian. Thank you. Take it away, Jen. Hello, everyone. Hello. Happy afternoon. Hello. I'm Jen Stillian. It rhymes with million. You can't forget it. I am so excited to be here today. I am thrilled to be offering this to you. I freaking love Head Start. I love Head Start. I love you guys. I love Head Start. I love Region 9. Oh my gosh, I applaud Fernando and the whole team and Ed for putting on these webinars and resources for you guys because I know you guys need this. This is the time right now. So I feel like I'm giving you a gift today. I'm giving you a gift because you guys 
do a lot. You are constantly giving of yourself. I know we have a lot of educator, educators here. I know we have a lot of parents who are here and supervisor and site supervisors and directors and management team. And I know, I know that right now you are here with me because you are hoping to gain wellness tools to help you with your mental, emotional, and physical wellness. We're gonna have this incredible interactive journey today. So, I know that in these times right now, you are taking on different roles. Parents, you're homeschooling your kids. Holy moly. Teachers, I know you're missing your students, but I know you are showing up and doing everything you can to support your families. Site supervisors, you know, directors, staff, the upper management, you are doing everything. You're going above and beyond to help support your teachers so they can support the families around you. There's a lot going on. And you're giving a lot of yourself. A lot of yourself, yo. And I'm sure, I'm sure the last person you're taking care of is you, which I don't blame you. We, did, we were not prepared for this time. We're not prepared to be in our homes with our loved ones 24 seven and we're all haywire and going crazy. And we're forgetting, out, forgetting about the most important person is you because you're taking care of everybody else, right? You really, really are. And this is why I'm here. I am here. So I'm hoping after this webinar, you're gonna walk away feeling empowered, feeling empowered to take care of yourself during this time because you are the example you're the example your wellness journey has nothing to do nothing to do with your kids has nothing to do with your spouse or your partner has nothing to do with your coworkers or your friends or your family it has to do with you so we're going to go through this incredible experience today this is what's going to happen all right you're ready for this we're going to dance we're gonna dance, we're gonna move. Why? Because dance instantly shifts your mood. It is a moving meditation. And you know what, when I present, I'm a speaker and I speak all around and I've been speaking for Head Start doing you know, wellness presentations and a keynote speaker the last two years. And usually when I approach this and they don't know we're gonna dance, more than half of the audience looks like they're like deer in headlights. They're like so scared. And then you have those like 20, 20 people who are like, yeah, we got to dance, we get to dance. The thing is, a lot of people are scared of dancing because they have this belief that they can't dance. Um, let me tell you, every single one of you have danced one time in your life, whether it's at a club or a wedding or you know a party, you've danced. And when you're dancing, you're not thinking about anything else in your life. And teachers, you know this, and parents, you must be doing this right now, dance parties all the time, because your kids are a great example. When you're dancing, you're in immediate joy. When you're dancing, you're not thinking about anything else. You are out of your head and in your body. And this is why I have dancing and everything I do in my presentations, even if I'm just speaking for 20 minutes, I get people up to move. So we're gonna dance today, okay? We're also gonna do a journaling part. And this part, we're gonna get a little deep. We're gonna get real. And this is why you might you need to have a pen and paper ready, because I'm gonna prompt you when the journaling part comes up, and it's gonna be at the beginning of this workshop. Now the journaling part, we're going to go within and identify some of your stressors. Because right now, we're experiencing, you probably have experienced more stress and more anxiety and more fear than you ever have in your life. Am I not right? Because I know I have. But I'm going to teach you, I'm going to help you identify what they are. So trust me in this experience. We're going to get a little deep. Now, wherever you are right now, if you have kids running around, I get you. I understand. Maybe you can watch the recording. But there is going to be a part where it's going to be quiet. I'll put on some music. And you're going to write a little bit. We're also going to move our emotions because we are all feeling all the emotions right now. We're gonna move it through EFT tapping, emotional freedom technique tapping. If you've never heard of it, there are nine points on your body 
And by tapping on those points, it instantly, instantly releases stress in your body and it shifts you completely. So you might get y'all angry and frustrated and just all of these really strong emotions. When you tap it out, you move your emotions and you, you are instantly in peace. So we're gonna do some EFT tapping. We're gonna go through the series right now because when we go through it later on, you can get out, get out all of your giggles because it's kind of funny, okay? So everyone start tapping on the side of your hand like this. Doesn't matter what hand it is. It doesn't matter. So just tap on the side of your hand. All right, now tap in, in your, in the middle of your like eyebrow right here, the tip. And then the outside. And then under the eye. And then under the nose. The chin. I know, it's kind of silly. The collarbone. And then this is my favorite one. We're gonna be monkeys. Yep, under the armpit. Oh yeah, hopefully you wear deodorant, okay? and then top of the head. I'm going through this series because when we go through it, we're moving our emotions and we're gonna be saying, saying statements. We're gonna identify our feelings. And I created this particularly for this pandemic and feelings that might have been coming up for you. We're also gonna do a visualization exercise at the very end. And this is a great mind-body mind tool to help shift you. So, are you guys ready? Are you guys ready to start this journey? I'm so excited to do this for you, okay? And yes, you could do this with your children. The tools that I'm teaching you, you could actually teach this to your children. And all that resources that I'm teaching you today will be in a resource guide. All right, so what we're gonna do right now, I'm gonna share my screen, okay? Just bear with me, guys. Sharing my screen. And get the chat box. Okay. All right, guys. Moving to wellness. That is me. Okay, so get your journal out. What I want you to do right now, I want you to write out your personal definition of wellness. What does it mean to be healthy and well? What does it mean to be healthy and well? What is your personal definition? You can just write out words. You don't have to do a full on sentence. I just, just want you to jot down words what it means to be healthy and well. We are doing basic one-on-one -on -one wellness right now. So go ahead and take a moment, write it out. And when you're ready, share some of it in the chat box. Any words, what does wellness mean to you? Share some, some of your thoughts. You can write up one word. And you share it in the chat box. Anybody want to share what wellness means to you? I think the chat box is not working over here. Okay, just kidding. The chat box is not working. Oh, okay. So everyone has their own definition of wellness. And let me tell you what wellness is. Wellness begins with you. It, is, it begins by putting yourself first. It has nothing to do with your kids. It has nothing to do with your students. It has nothing to do with your partner, your spouse, or your friends. It begins with you. Now, you might be wondering, Jen, I know this, okay? I know this. I've heard this. You know, this is basic, you know, wellness 101. But let me tell you, there's a difference between understanding it and knowing it. Knowing it is when you live from this place, when you live from wellness and when you live from self-care. And you can know, you can understand how to ride a bike by reading a book, but you don't really know how to ride a bike until you ride the bike, right? So we have been brought up with this belief, us women particularly, we've been brought up with this belief that we have to take care of everyone else around us, and then put ourselves last. 
We've watched our mothers do it. We've watched our grandmothers do it. And to go a little deeper, we find our worth in taking care of everybody else. And I'm going to tell you right now, this is a broken model. If you live this way, this will cause you suffering and destroy your spirit. I know this is heavy stuff, but wellness, you being fulfilled and happy and having a, a grounded well-being in all aspects of your life. Wellness is physical, it's mental. First and foremost, it's mental. Your thoughts that go in and out of your mind, it starts up here. Because whatever you're thinking, it starts going into your emotions. And then you start feeling your emotions and then you start acting out on it. How many times have you woke up grouchy you woke up grouchy because you're telling yourself things that probably are negative, and then you don't open your bedroom door to see everybody, and you're bringing that grouchiness to everybody else. It begins with you guys. It begins with you. Because you, it is you that's behind of every action you do in your daily life. It is you that creates the energy you bring into the world, affecting everybody in it, and you guys, you guys know what energy is. You know when your kids or your students are bouncing off the walls and they're crazy, nervous, crazy energy and you're like, oh, you know, and you're trying to find an activity to meet their energy. But then you also know when they come down and they're tired and they're kind of grumpy and they're cranky and you're trying to fulfill that part. You are constantly managing your kids your students' energy day in and day out. This isn't woo-woo stuff. You guys know what energy is. So my question for you is, how are you managing your energy? You are so brilliant at taking care of everyone else. But can you imagine, can you imagine totally fully that energy that you give to everybody else, give it to yourself, like 10 times more. And how do you do that? Well, I'm going to show you today. I'm going to show you today. Your wellness, your wellness is your responsibility. And when you, when you start to own that and commit to it, then that's the first step. And you know what responsibility, oh, sorry guys, I have dogs. So this is getting real now. <laughs> I got dogs. So hello. <laughs> anyway, so. Your wellness, <laughs> real life stuff happening, right? Your wellness is your responsibility. And you guys know what responsibility is because you're responsible right now. You just want your kids to be healthy and well and happy. You want your students, you want everyone around you to be healthy and well. But you are responsible for you, for you and making that commitment. You also know what commitment is. You know how to commit to everyone else. But are you showing up for yourself? How are you showing up? Are you committing to working out three days a week? Are you committing to sit quiet and meditate? Are you committing to the things that you want to do for yourself, but you fall on that commitment? But yet you'll, you'll show up for your kids and make sure they are finishing their homework and brushing their teeth and eating healthy and this and this and this. But what about you? And this is not, I'm not here to make you feel guilty or blame yourself. What I'm telling you is you are the mirror. Everyone around you in your, in your life mirrors you. Like I said, if you have crazy and you're grouchy and you're tense energy, everyone's going to feel that. They're going to feel that in your life. And then what happens is we tend to blame everybody else and hello, it has nothing to do with them. It has to do with you. So with that said, one of, a, one of the, like, the best exercise, exercises to, when you wake up in the morning and you're going to the mirror and you're brushing your teeth, notice your thoughts. Are you like criticizing the way you look in the morning? Are you looking at your dark circles? Are you looking at your wrinkles? Are you saying negative things to yourself? One way to shift out of those thoughts, to shift your mood, is gratitude. 
is gratitude. So what I want you to do is that we're going to put on a song. I'm going to put on a song right now. We're going to, I want you to stand up. We're going to play a game. This is freeze dance. This is for adults. Your kids, if they're there, they can play too. So I'm going to put on a song and you're going to move and you're going to dance and do whatever you want to do. And when the music stops, I'm going to say freeze. And I want you to take your pen. You might have to dance with your pen. Don't hurt anybody though. I want you to write one thing you're grateful for. And this is, this is the kicker. It has to have nothing to do with your children. It has nothing to do with your family. It has nothing to do with your friends. It has to do with you. What are you grateful about you? Okay, so I'm gonna put on a song. Get up, let's get up and move. This is our icebreaker. We're gonna dance throughout this whole thing, I promise. I know I'm getting a little serious and real here, but let's, let's move, are you ready? All right. Here we go, music. All right, I want everyone to stand up, feel the music, just move around your house, just dance. Keep going. Oh yeah, do your own dance move, get down. Yeah, yeah. All right, freeze. Now I want you to write down something you're grateful for immediately. Do not overthink it. Just put your pen down one thing. Just one thing. Go for it. Go for it. I'm still dancing. There's no music. All right, here we go again. It's fast. Yourself. I'm grateful for my beautiful hair. I'm grateful for, you know, my strengths and weaknesses, not weaknesses. I'm grateful for my strengths or maybe weaknesses. Maybe you're like somebody who I'm like, you're very real and honest. Write down what you're grateful for about you, not your family, not your friends. This is about you. All right, let's do it one more time. Okay, I saw a lot of good comments in there. Health, I saw a lot of great comments. Okay, so notice that you moved, you danced, and you were in gratitude. 
I'm sure you already feel better. I'm sure you do. Look at this exercise. Look at the benefits. It boosts your mood. It promotes self-care. It increases mental and emotional health. It encourages joy and happiness in all areas of your life. It releases endorphins. It increases happiness, which makes you a better person, makes you a better parent, a spouse or partner, friend, coworker. But most importantly, it reduces stress. Oh, stress. All right, my friends, stress. We're gonna talk about stress. We're gonna talk about anxiety. So this is the part of the workshop that's gonna get a little real. And I promise you won't be here for very long. And we're gonna move and we're gonna dance. So this is the probably the most important part of this webinar. Because I'm gonna wake you guys up. You're going to get into an awareness about what is going on inside of you. Because we can dance, we can have fun, and I can give you lots of wellness tools. But we need to identify what is going on inside of you. So what is stress? There's lots of different definitions. You can sit there and write what, what stress is, but I'm gonna tell you what stress is. It comes from fear. Stress and anxiety, and we've been experiencing that right now during this pandemic. Stress and anxiety has become very real right now for all of us. And stress comes from fear, and it comes from trying to be in control. So this is what I'm going to tell you. Control and stress is an illusion. It doesn't exist. You know why? Because as human beings, we are stro so stressed, we get caught up in stress and anxiety because we're worried about what's going to happen two seconds from now. We're worried about the future. And then we hold on to what happened yesterday, to what happened two seconds ago. So we're in this trap of like, oh my gosh, this stuff happened to me 20 years ago. We're still holding on to the stories, the stories saying that this is who you are, but it's not who you are because it's, it's gone. The past does not exist and the future does not exist. So we can't control anything. And you guys know this, you know, because evidence shows Right now, look where the world is right now. They can't control anything because we don't know what's gonna happen. And for a lot of you who have anxiety, you are trying to control. What are you controlling? It's an illusion. And the only way to, to control is your thoughts, is your emotions, it is what is going inside of you and to you need to live, human beings, we have a hard time, and it's taken me a long time to get to this place, live in the moment. The moment, and right now, you guys know this, everyone's taking one day at a time right now. We don't even know what the day is gonna hold. So to move out of the fear is to be in the moment and to know you're not in control. You can control your thoughts. I will say that. But what happens on the planet? You can't. And for some reason, for me, I find relief in that. I find relief in that. So we're going to get real right now with our stress. And we're going to move into a journaling exercise. I promise we will not be here for very long. But I'm asking and inviting you to go to, go to this place with me. Because you probably don't have the time to even write down. You're probably all over the place. But this is why journaling is so powerful. So, get out your journal. And I'm going to put on some music and I'm going to ask you some questions. I'm going to ask you some questions. By the way, this music, it's all royalty free music because we can't use copyrighted music. Um, this is my husband playing sitar. So I want you to write down specifically what is causing you stress 
and anxiety right now. If it's the pandemic, if it's what we're all going through, what specifically is it? Is it your finances? Is it the fact that you're so anxious of getting sick and your family getting sick? Are you so stressed out because you're suddenly a homeschooler and you're managing your kids all day long and your kids are driving you crazy? So we're getting real right now. Be real with yourself. It's okay. I'm giving you permission to write it all out. Is it your kids? Is your partner and your spouse driving you crazy? Is it the fact that you're, that you're bottled up in this household with everybody? Is it because of the fact that you don't have any time to yourself? Or are you simply scared because of the unknown? Because of the unknown, you don't know what's gonna happen and you're just living with anxiety. So write out a few of your stressors. Just write it out right now. Trust me, this is only gonna be a small part of this workshop. We're gonna to move to the other side. So take a minute, write out your stressors. And then I want you to break it down to your top three stressors, the top three stressors. And then eventually you're going to break it down to your one main stressor. There's always one that pulls all the other ones forward. I want you to take a breath. Breathe in. Hold it for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale. Breathe in. Hold it for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale. When you're done writing, I want you to close your eyes. Notice how you are feeling. As you're writing out your stressors, are you resisting this exercise because you, you don't want to go there? And if you are writing it out, notice how you're feeling. What feelings are coming up? Are you angry? Are you sad? Are you mad? Are you frustrated? Are you disappointed? Are you feeling like this is this whole thing that's happening to the world right now is unfair? Whatever feelings are coming up for you, allow them to come through you. Are you asking you to feel those feelings? And I'm going to tell you this. These are just feelings. They're not negative. They're just feelings. And this is the part of being a human being that most of us want to avoid. We don't want to sit with our feelings. We don't want to feel sad. We don't want to feel pain. So what we do instead is avoid them as much as possible. We stuff our, our face with food. We distract ourselves with endless amounts of TV, alcohol, overthinking, overworking, codependency, and taking care of everybody else but ourselves. This is the part where we want to avoid as much as possible. We don't want to sit with ourselves because we're afraid of what's going to come up. They're just feelings. They won't hurt you. They point you in the right direction. Your emotions are the path to healing. So you're safe with me right now. And what I want you to do is open your eyes and we're gonna tap these feelings out because tapping helps you move them. So we won't have to be here forever. This is the thing, if you are angry or you are sad, just sit with yourself and do these tools and then on the other side of it, and you'll see in five minutes, you're gonna feel like a whole different person. 
So open your eyes, we're gonna tap. And it's gonna get real. Repeat after me. Even though I feel scared right now, I love and accept myself. Even though I feel stressed about everything that's going on in the world, I love and accept myself. Even though I feel anxious, I love and accept myself. Now inner eye, the unknown scares me right now. Outer eye, I'm afraid for my loved ones. Under eye, I'm afraid for my health. Nose, I have a lot of anxiety right now. Chin, I have a lot of fear. And I'm worried. And I'm worried about my finances. And I feel overwhelmed. In your eye. And even though I feel all of these feelings, I know they're just feelings. And I feel safe to feel them. And I feel safe in my body. And I have the power to move them. These feelings, the stress, not define me. And I have the power to let him go. Fear is not who I am. And I release it now. And I let it go now. And I choose to be in peace now. And I choose love right now. Because I am free and awesome. Because I'm free and I'm awesome. So let go. We're gonna get up and we're gonna dance it out. You guys ready? Here we go, get up. You should feel a release right now and follow me. We're gonna dance this stuff out. Here we go, guys. Oh yeah, just follow me. All right, rock side to side. Yeah, we're getting into our body. We're getting out of our heads. Rock side to side. All right, step touch. All right, to add some arms. Here we go. Drop it from the side. You're pulling it down. Keep going. We're pulling out all of that negative energy. We're pulling out those beliefs, those old beliefs. We're pulling out the stress and anxiety. All of that stuff is not who you are. You're a powerful, amazing human being. Let's get back. Keep going. All right, we're gonna stomp our feet. Stomp our feet. You're throwing a tantrum. Yeah, yeah. Throw it out. Get it out of your body. This is a powerful, powerful dance move. I know it's not really a dance move, but it is. You're just letting out all this energy. All right, let's go from the top. We're doing five dance moves to shift your energy. Here we go. Rock. Yeah. All right, here we go. Pull and throw is what I call it. Keep going. All right, stop our feet. Stop through a tantrum. Get it out. Yeah. All right, come back to the middle. 
and just rock out your heart should be pumping out of breath a little bit. All right, the next one, you're gonna run in place. Oh, you guys, I'm giving you some exercise. Okay, run in place, run, 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 jump out. Try that again, here we go. Run, 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 jump out. All right, the next move. Are you ready for this one? It's fun, it's kind of old school. You're gonna go single, single, double, double. Single, single, double, double. You're moving your torso like a string it's attached to it, in and out, like that. And you're kind of punching the air, okay? So single, single, double, double. Single, single, double. Keep going, guys. Single, single, double, double. Single, single. Keep going. Get this move out. All right. All right, let's hear from the top. Rock side to side, rock it. All right, pull and throw, here we go. Keep going. Yeah, get it out. All right, stop your feet. When you get angry and mad, do this dance. All right, run in place, run. Jump out, here we go, jump, and here we go. Single, single, I don't know what this dance move is called. Punch in the air. <laughs> Keep going, yeah, feel it in your body. Woo, this is your warm up dance, you guys. Oh, you're feeling good, you ready? Are we up for the challenge? Let's do two counts of eight of each. Here we go, five, six, Five, six, rock it out. Uh. One more count. Pull and throw. Stomp your feet. Stomp. Run in place. Let it go. 
Just do it. Just do it because you know you want to. All right, here we go. Let's go over the poses. I'm awesome. I got this. I'm strong. I'm enough. Let it go. Oh, great job. Let's do that again. Here we go. I'm awesome. I got this. I'm strong. I'm enough. Let it go. Woohoo! You guys like those poses? Oh, yeah. Okay, so now the next song I'm gonna do, all right, I'm gonna do a little bit of hip hop gen. So, for those of you who were on our training yesterday, my husband and I did a kids' music and movement training yesterday. And we are kids' music and dance performers and educators. Um, I work with a lot of adults now, I work with kids too. So I have a Hip Hop Gen CD, wherever it is. And since you're with your kids right now, we're gonna do a little, now I usually don't do this in my webinars for adults, but we're gonna do this today, a couple of songs. And also, most of the time, and, and through Zoom, since they're sharing this on YouTube, most of the time I use copyrighted music in my Zoom, private Zoom meetings. I use, you know, Can't Stop the Feeling and Dynamite and Michael Jackson and all the fun pops in my workshops, in my speaking gigs. But, so this is going on social media. Today we're pivoting a little bit and doing just, just royalty free music. So I thought you guys would enjoy, adults you will love this, some of Hip Hop Jen's dance party. All right, let's keep moving, all right? So follow me. We're gonna do the super exercise dance. Actually, no, we're gonna do a hip hop walk. You guys ready? Friends, this is hip hop gen. All right, grab your kids. Go like this one. Feet. Walk your feet. This still gives you great exercise. Walk your feet and walk and walk and walk those feet. Jump and clap. Oh yeah. Jump and clap. Jump, jump and clap. See, you still get a good exercise, you guys. Jump and clap. Yes, that's me singing. Jump, jump. Okay, what's next? There we go. Fly.
feel good? You're inside your body. Oh my goodness. Okay, my friends. I like how I call you my friends. Okay, so what we're gonna do real quick is we're gonna do a visualization. I can't believe it's already 2.50. Holy moly. All right, I don't wanna rush into this. Usually my workshops are 90 minutes. So I do a lot more dancing and stuff, but that's okay. So really quick, I want you to, I gotta catch my breath. You guys catch your breath, catch your breath and be thankful. Be thankful for your breath. Be thankful for this heart that is beating. You are healthy. You, every cell in your body is singing and vibrating with health. Your heart is telling you that it's pumping, it's working out right now because as you gave it exercise just now. So feel so grateful in this moment. Okay, so one of the tools that have really significantly changed my life is visualization. Visualization is a mind-body tool. This is something that highly successful people use every day in their lives. Tony Robbins does visualization. Oprah does, does visualization. If Oprah does it, you gotta do it. Oprah does EFT tapping, so you gotta, you gotta do EFT, EFT tapping. So you're creating a mental, like a mental image, imagery, I can't talk right now, like just a mental image in your head of what you want to create in your life. So the question I want to ask you, and it's in my PowerPoint, which I have to share it again, but that's okay. Sharing this back and forth is so fun. Um, what I want to ask you is who are you being? Who are you being right now? See, we are not human doings. We are human beings. Who do you want to be? Who do you want to be during this time in our lives? Do you want to be a person who is just driven by anxiety and stress and workaholism and grouchy? Do you want to be that person all the time? Now, I know we have moments. Right now, there's moments where we're in fear. We're like, oh my gosh, I have so much anxiety. Move through them, just like I showed you today, and then come back to the person you want to be. Do you want to be a person? I want you to be writing this as I'm talking to you. Do you want to be a person who is healthy? Be a person who's at peace. Be a person who's more committed to herself. You want to be a person who's loving. So think of those qualities. In order to have what we want in our life, we have to start with the human beingness. Be, then do, then have. Most human beings, we start with, you know, having having it, then doing, then we want to be it. No, it's it's that's a broken model. Who do you want to be? Take a minute. And what you do with this exercise, you start to visualize. You could do this while you're taking a shower, while you're brushing your teeth. This, this is an exercise you can do all day long inside here. Even if you're busy and you have no time for yourself, what I'm telling you today, the EFT tapping, your breath, we take three deep breaths to shift you. You can do this less than five minutes a day. Self-care and wellness does not have to be like hours and hours every single day. Just start with your internal dialogue. And if you are somebody who wants to be healthy, what does visually, what does that look like? Do you see yourself working out three days a week and actually visualize yourself? I'm lifting weights. I'm doing a dance, online dance program. I'm doing online yoga. See yourself on the mat. See yourself finishing those workouts. See yourself how you feel after those workouts. And when you get into your feelings, oh, oh, that's when it starts to become real. But you start it up here. Visualization helps you achieve your goals and overcome limitations. It boosts your self-esteem. It's inspirational, and you can do anything when you visualize. This is more than just a vision board. This is something you do every day. So I know I'm rushing. I'm, <laughs> I'm totally rushing. But all of this that you learned today is in the resources. You guys are getting, I have a book. I don't remember book it's, but I have a move into daily wellness book. And you're getting the, the back end of a book of all the wellness tools. 
So all the resources on how to do EFT tapping, where to find videos on that, every single thing is on there. So just a recap of today. Write down five things you're grateful for daily. Journal your feelings when you feel stressed. Release negative emotions when you, when you're, you know, when you feel those negative or unwanted emotions with EFT tapping. Move your body to dance. Now, the reason why I did Hip Hop Gen CD, because it's such a great resource for, for parents right now, you get to enjoy the music and dance with your kids. Try power posing. Every morning, visualize and meditate what you want. Change your mindset with I am affirmations. I'm sure Fernando is sharing my website, but if you want more information about self-care tools, my website is, I'm doing a new website right now, so I have my old one up, but you know, there's a lot more information on the new one. It's not working today, but that's okay. So you can find me on my Instagram account. I live there, my email, and I'm gonna go into the QA right now. But if you wanna, I know Fernando is sharing my information. This is what I do. I know we, I kind of compacted it really quick in an hour long training, but I travel and I do, obviously I can't travel. I travel in my home, virtually travel, but I'm a keynote speaker. I do wellness trainings. If you are a site supervisor and you want training support, if you're an employer or you want trainings for your site, um, please email me. I'm here to help. I want to serve you guys. I want to help you during this time. I have different presentations. And this is just my way of, you know, doing what I can for the world. So I'm going to open up to the, the let's see here. My goodness. I'm going to get this down. Okay, guys. All right, let's go into the Q&A. Oh, we only have five minutes left. Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, okay. So that's a little bit about me. And... Um, Right now, I'm actually, I'm actually a coach as well. So just email me. I am giving 30 minutes of free coaching right now. And these are for people who are really serious about transforming their lives. And if just email me. Email me that. Um, email me if you're interested in booking any trainings. I do. I give 50% off right now for you guys. 50% off of um, in-kind donation if you hire me for trainings. So, and there's a ton of resources. That I'm giving you guys. Um, okay, can children do this too? Yes, children can absolutely do this. There's a lot of videos in the resource guide, you'll see that. EFT tapping is emotional freedom technique tapping. How can I motiv motivate, motivate myself to engage in physical exercise daily? Okay, so uh, Ruth, who do you want to be? Do you want to be? You start with your being. You want to be healthy, right? You want to be healthy. Start with your being. So to motivate yourself, it begins with commitment. For some reason, you're not committing to your, your wellness journey. So it begins with your being. Who do you want to be? Start to visualize yourself actually in your mind that you are committing to yourself to your exercise routine. And the reason why we don't commit because we don't think we deserve it. Oh, we're getting deeps, you guys. We're getting the deeps, okay? You are worthy. And it's, it's more of a, I've had to work through this. It's more of a self-esteem issue, why you're not showing up for your workouts, why you're not working on yourself. So um, hopefully that answers your question. Work with me by the CD. Um, this is everywhere. This is on iTunes. This is on Spotify. Um, you can contact me if you want the physical CD. Um, and also, if you refer, if you refer, um, if you have a referral, refer me to somebody um, that you know that wants to book live trainings, I will give this to you for free. So just email. What is the name of CD? Oh, Hip Hop Gen Kids Dance Party. And can you repeat the journal exercises you recommend? All the journal exercises are in the resources, resources guide, which I think Fernando is, I think Fernando is sharing. Um, Okay, what were, okay, the five affirmation poses are in the resources. I got you guys, I got you. Any other questions? Um, how can we find the music? Are you talking about this music? Um, on iTunes and Spotify. The PowerPoint will be on the recording. Fernanda will share that. 
It will be, um, it'll be up in the next 24 hours on YouTube. Uh, anything else, you guys? Do you have more webinars? Um, not with Region 9. Um, I have been doing stuff with Region 9, but I do, but there, there is stuff coming up. We're still in the works. I am getting hired to do virtual conferences and summits and so forth. Um, but if you follow me, keep me posted on Instagram. I'll keep you posted on Instagram, um, and um, you'll, you'll know my upcoming like trainings and stuff. Um, yes, these techniques help increase positivity, productivity, and happiness. Everything you learn today, all of this stuff just reminds you of who you are. And who you are meant to be is somebody who's in peace, somebody who's powerful, somebody who's loving and loves himself. So all these techniques will really significantly improve your life. Can you clarify again about having a positive attitude when this, when this class is chaotic? The class, or you're talking about where we are right now? So this is the thing. You can still feel fear and positive at the same time. There's gonna be moments where, <laughs> There's gonna be moments where you're gonna feel fear and anxious. And if the, I'll just say, if the brown emoji, the brown emoji has hit the fan, you guys know what I'm gonna talk about it? Just acknowledge where you're feeling. You don't have to be sunshine and rainbows and unicorns all the time. You don't have to. But it's all about processing your feelings and moving out of it. Moving out of it. Okay. I think we're on the hour. All that you guys, the nine points, the nine points is all, I have a diagram. I, it's all in the resource guide. I'm telling you guys, everything is there. My Instagram account is at Jen Stillian. So it's like million, but Jen Stillian. But um, Fernando, if you wanted to open up, I know we're on the hour. No problem. Uh, thank you, Jen, for the time and for uh, addressing some of those questions. Uh, everybody, thanks for participating and making this very interactive. I just want to uh, thank you for uh, taking the time and, and, and your patience to join the session. I know we're experiencing large amounts of traffic coming into the session, so I appreciate you sticking with us. Um, just to remind you, uh, this session was recorded, so if you uh, would like to revisit all the great information that Jen uh, provided us with, or if you uh, know someone who was not able to join the live session, uh, make sure you find our YouTube channel where this session will be posted in within uh, 24 hours roughly. So uh, we usually have been getting these sessions up there before 24 hours, but we're trying our best. So um, just visit our YouTube channel um, and I'm going to post the link one more time so you can get Jen's resources and from there you can find our YouTube channel as well. Uh, once again, thank you Jen for the uh, amazing and interactive presentation. It's definitely what we needed. Um, thanks, everybody, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Uh, be well, and uh, hope to see you on the next one. Thanks. Take care of yourself. Be well, everybody.